expansion and you're a big part of it, so tell us how what the feeling is in Buffalo right now about getting an expansion team here. Tug, you can't beat the enthusiasm of these three hundred and just in one of the time. We couldn't have a place in the night to get in three or five years. Wait here and call the field and go back to the back. Okay, not on the emotional side, but I mean I've been here three years now and I know the spirit of the fans have. How about on the practical realistic level in terms of uh, actually attracting a baseball club? What do you have to do? We think the key thing is the criteria that the commissioner set down uh, last week in Cleveland. One of the key things we have going for us is ownership with the rich family and a drawing power within that uh, 125 miles of us. They want big league baseball. Come back, Sixty-two. Very much so. We have a um, cable network, you know, stretching down through the state, a you know, wide region here, and some very loyal fans. We've drawn a million fans two years in a row for Triple A baseball. We're going to three feet this year. I guess Bonnie's yeah. from Buffalo. I and, was uh, just going to say, one of your great ambassadors and my first major league pitching coach, and the man I call my father, got me started in the big leagues. Warren Spahn, you grew up in Buffalo. I guess you'd like to see how many of you did. Sure. For years, I was a kid growing up. I wonder how in the world we got to play baseball in Buffalo. But there's great municipal baseball in this town. I got a wonderful start here. These people are baseball people. They're sports fans, and they come from far and wide to come to baseball. And you got a great rival here with the fans. And uh, I think they're going to be able to come from Toronto and come to ball games. Well, I've been at you. We're playing for the World Series. Yeah, very good. And uh, what I'm saying is that it's not that far distant. We're in the trunk of the ball. We're in the trunk of the ball. We're in the trunk of the ball. You would have draw Philadelphia. No, <laughs> you never know. But you know, you you come to a lot of these uh, senior league, uh, not senior league uh, alumni or old oh, yeah, fans. Yeah, you must have some great memories. Get better together with some of these guys. I know I have lots, but I see them. Hey, I have great memories. The best time was probably in the uh, cocktail bar at the uh, court <laughs> game. It's really tough to get out there. And, there. and then these old timers are getting awfully young. I don't know. They're all young. Uh, you know, I, okay. I remember when Casey Stingle was the manager with the Mets in 1965. You were my first major league pitching coach. Uh, I always hope that I could play in the big leagues long enough to be invited to an old timers game. I can't believe you. We're teammates again. We had great fun. It's super, and uh, you know, there's no camaraderie like baseball. The guys, you're right, the stories, uh, the home runs get longer, the, the fastball gets faster, the eyes get bigger, but it's all fun. When I gave up my first grand slam, did you really tell me how you got to throw a ball real hard for it to go that far? I did, Todd. That's right. I also said, Todd, you don't hit the back. You don't catch the ball. Okay, here at uh, Pilot Stadium in Buffalo, New York, I'm Tuck McGraw.